James Com, the guy on the bike, welcoming back our worldwide viewership for another half-assed production. And we're coming to you again from the Museum of Modern Art. And this evening we're going to run in and try to get some pictures. We're going to give you a preview of the new film titled Brooklyn DIY. So you've been working on this for two years. Two years. And MoMA came out and said they wanted it four months ago. And at that point you were what, probably halfway? A little bit more than that. So you just that. had to spend four months busting your buns to get it done for the premiere. Yeah, but that's a good thing because it's, it's kind of done. You know? That is, put, put you on the, on the spot, get it done or move on, right? That's good. How has how the experience been for you, dealing with all these people and the community? And it's, it's been all right. It's been all right. I mean, I mean, no no uh, death threats or anything like that so far? Not as bad as death. We haven't seen the movie yet. We'll have to wait until the debut. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll talk after we see the movie. Okay. Maybe you'll be one of, the, one of, one of them people hitting me with sticks. Oh. <laughs> Well, if not, I'll, I'll have the concession for the uh, pitchforks and the torches, okay? All right. All right. I'll, I'll talk to you after the movie. Okay. Thanks, Marcy. Okay. Brooklyn DIY is sold out. Sounds good. Okay. Are we seating, are we seating us now? So I have a big crowd upstairs. Thank okay. you very much, sir. Well, as I understand it, this is basically a documentary about the Williamsburg art community starting in the early 80s and going up to present day. And now we're talking with Alan Williams. You're one of the featured uh, interviewees in this, aren't you? No, I'm not. You're not? No. Nobody, nobody wanted my opinion. Just oh, my God. Opinion. Welcome to the club. Okay. Sarah Smirler. Oh, there's Patty Johnson. There are over 10,000 artists in Williamsburg. And this is their story. My name is Sally Berger, and I'm the chief curator of Documentary Fortnight. This is our closing night, and we're very delighted to have Brooklyn DIY and director Marcin Ramaki here. I want to thank my co-curators, Sarah Rashkin and Bill Sloan. Um, we've had a really wonderful, fantastic run. So Marcin, please Yay! welcome. The next wave of 
immigrants came in from Manhattan. The artist running away from Soho looking for cheap space. That's the story of Williamsburg before the artist came. I'm Ken Butler. I'm known basically in Williamsburg for my hybrid instruments, which you can see, so there's a few of them here behind me. There had been this big boom in the 80s. Because Bear eats everything. You know, that came almost off the energy of the East Village scene, you know, and it was all this kind of new expressionism, graffiti, performance art, just wild, fun things, you know. The gallery guide, you know, during the middle of the 80s was it was like three quarters of an inch thick, and suddenly in two years it was down to, you know, an eighth of an inch. At my studio in Williamsburg, nobody will come to look at my work. There's, the curators won't come. It's like this barrier going off Manhattan. No, they're going to be scared to, because everybody on Manhattan thought that if you went into Brooklyn, you would get a knife in your back. You take it as a sign of your slightly sheepish, embarrassed loserhood. People came out here because they were very practical and they needed big space for Salon of Leading Spiders. That was a great show, the Salon of Leading Spiders. It was a salon, and it was just anybody could bring their work. And then I brought this huge piece on like a, a dolly just walking down, just like riding it down the street in Williamsburg. This flying ball. This huge ball with wings. And then there were just other artists, and everybody was in line. Everybody had their work. And that, I think that's when we really started to feel like there was this community. Thank you for coming. Do you guys have any questions? I, I'll try to answer some, and then if they have to do with Old Williamsburg, I'll pass it on to people who actually live in Old Williamsburg. At the end, it said like for Saka or something. Yes, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> I said, we just finished, so like nobody even knows that it's around. And I must say that even Gene Bull, the can man, is here and he came all the way. Speaking to one of the stars here, Mike Lee, what, what did you think of the what did you think of the film? It was a lovely night in the theater. <laughs> it was pretty good. There's a lot of work involved in that. Yeah, there was. I all I did was chat just like I'm doing now. All right, well th thanks for the input. That was great. And we're talking to Ward Shelley here. What did you think of uh, the film? Well, it was a love fest, right? It was fun. I mean, it, it, actually, you know what? It, it really made uh, Williamsburg seem like it would like hold some kind of small candle to the other art scenes of history that we that we read about. You know, that that have had their day and they've left their mark. And this, you know, kind of established it. I think that's what he managed to do is he kind of established something specific about Williamsburg. It, it has a. Uh, it looks it looks exciting. I wish I had been there. Yeah, we all do. Yeah. Thanks, Ward. Yeah, you're welcome. James Com reporting on the premiere of Arsene Romaki's Brooklyn DIY here at the Museum of Modern Art. Thanks, Kate.